Eagle Eyes, Jake here. Jake, I've got something terribly exciting to show you here at the Historical Society. I think that I have found the long-lost treasure map of Colonel Bo Blue. You're kidding. The Civil War general who buried a fortune in Richview? That's fantastic. We'll be right there. Arnold has run the Richview Historical Society for years. She has tons of old papers and other historical objects here. Kids, you must have a look at this. I was tidying up the attic this morning and I came across a padlock chest. The chest was so old that the padlock broke apart as I lifted it. Inside was an old revolver and a scroll of parchment. The parchment is cracked with age, but it certainly looks like a map of some sort. I gave it to Mr. Arnold to examine. I'm convinced from the initials on the revolver and the age of the items that these belong to Colonel Bo Blue. We may have found the long lost map to his buried treasure. I've been studying the map all morning, comparing it with some of the maps we have here. It's a map of old Richview, all right, around the mid-1800s, I'd guess. Some of these old buildings still exist, and I recognize some of the landmarks marked by an X here. For example, Lone Tree is over by Buccaneer Beach. Wraith Rock, as you know, is that huge stone in Riverside Park. Instead of marking the location of the treasure, this map gives four possible locations and some cryptic notes. I suppose we could send dig teams to each location, but, well, the Historical Society has enough funds at the moment to finance one excavation. Now, I've checked to be sure that the revolver isn't loaded, but guns are not to be trifled with. Even an ancient one like this is a dangerous weapon. Well, I'll hold it for you if you'd like to examine it. Well, I'm convinced that this revolver is authentic. It's exactly the kind of Smith & Wesson that was used in the Civil War when Colonel Blue commanded his regiment. What could that mean? The site by Jackson's namesake? Could he be referring to the statue of President Jackson in Riverside Park? Wraith Rock is in Riverside Park, too. Buccaneer Beach is a great place to go swimming. I bet these people had no idea that a treasure might be buried nearby. Mr. Duffy's had bad luck with his crops the last few years. If the treasure is buried here, Maybe he'll be able to use some of the money to help fix up his farm. I did a little research on the area before I bought this farm 10 years ago. There was a mining company here 100 years ago or so. They dug shafts deep into the earth looking for silver. Mining was a really big industry in this part of the country in those days. When the silver ran out, they sealed up the caverns so that people wouldn't mess around in them and get hurt.
Wraith Rock is right there on the edge of the path. And there's the statue of Andrew Jackson. This rock has been here since the founding of Richview. My dad says that the name comes from its spooky shape. Wraith means ghost. Mr. Cohn is the owner of Sweet Treats. We're lucky to catch him while he's in the shop. I've studied the Civil War in great detail. It's a hobby of mine. Each year I join up with a group that reenacts some of the famous battles like Gettysburg and Shiloh. My favorite is a battle of Bull Run where General Thomas Jackson earned the nickname Stonewall. It's said that he stood like a wall of stone against the Yankee forces. The war was a terrible waste of life. Almost as many Americans died in the Civil War as in every other war this country has ever fought. Com Mr. Cohen has always been interested in history. In fact, I think he bought this site as the location for his ice cream parlor because it used to be a famous tavern. That's right. I started Sweet Treats on the site of the old Liberty Tavern. I like the idea of owning a store on a famous landmark. In the 1800s, the Liberty Tavern was a favorite drinking and socializing spot. But when alcohol was banned during Prohibition in 1920, the tavern went out of business. I've got the old tavern sign back here above the counter for luck. It's an antique. I'll bet we can find out some background on Colonel Blue here at the library. A little research into the Civil War might help us decipher the map. Colonel Bo Blue? He's quite a famous figure here. You might try checking some of our local history books to get the details of his story. I vaguely remember that there was some talk of a buried treasure. Have you spoken to Mr. Cohn yet? He's the owner of Sweet Treats Ice Cream Parlor, you know. He's a real Civil War buff. He and a group of his friends take part in Civil War battle reenactments every year. They research the time period and battles very carefully, then create authentic costumes and reenact the strategies used by famous Civil War generals. I'm sure he'd love to help you with your investigation. We've got the clues we need. Pick the four clues that you think will best show the historical society where to dig. Those are the clues we needed. Now choose the site where you think Colonel Blue buried his treasure. You're right. The treasure is buried near the entrance to Harrison Hall. Let's check the evidence. The treasure map that Colonel Bo Blue made showed four possible sites for the buried treasure, but it said that the loot was buried near the site by Jackson's namesake. Wraith Rock in Riverside Park was one of the sites marked on the map and it's near a statue of President Andrew Jackson. 
Andrew Jackson was president before the Civil War, but the statue we saw was put in Riverside Park in 1967. Colonel Blue couldn't have known about that, Jackson. Mr. Cohn told us that he enjoys reenacting Civil War battles like Bull Run. He also mentioned that the Battle of Bull Run is where General Thomas Jackson got the nickname Stonewall. At the library, we learned that General Thomas Stonewall Jackson was a Confederate leader during the Civil War. Colonel Bo Blue was a soldier in the Confederate Army. He may even have fought with General Stonewall Jackson for the South. Harrison Hole was the name of the mine dug on Mr. Duffy's land in the 1800s. You noticed that an old stone wall was built near the entrance to the mine. Colonel Blue said that the treasure was buried near Jackson's namesake, a stone wall.